Hello, so today I needed to make some new dish soaps. They have done well on my Etsy and on the craft shows I've done so far. And especially the, when I did the frankincense and lavender essential oil blend. And I'm putting that in right now. I have mixed my only oil, which is extra virgin coconut oil, with the lye water solution to a very light trace. So I'm quickly mixing in the essential oils. When you make that one oil, coconut oil, dish soaps, or I think pretty much any just solid coconut oil soap, you want to pour it quickly when it's at a light trace because it, it really does thicken up fast. And especially if you're going to pour it into individual molds like I'm doing here. Now, for years, I have made the mother and child soap as like a mom and baby soap, and I love doing that, but I was really excited to have this idea since this mold is so beautiful, so detailed, and actually quite tricky. Every time I make that soap, pretty much like half of them don't come out as nicely as I wanted to. So I thought it would be the perfect mold to use this soap for since they get so hard and unmold so nicely. And it was just a wonderful idea, I thought, because I thought back to when both of my children were babies. And back then I would buy store-bought natural soap to wash all of their baby bottles, pacifiers. I also had to use a breast pump so I had all of those pump pieces and tubes and things that you had to all wash by hand and you couldn't really put in a dishwasher and the house we lived in didn't have a dishwasher so I did many many hours of my life spent washing all that stuff by hand and I had wished that I made this back then so I would have had it for myself. I do use my own dish soaps in my own kitchen as well that way I hardly ever have to buy any kind of heavily fragranced store-bought dish soaps. I have a bottle of it that I just barely use that is for mostly soaking things. But for all day, everyday scrubbing, I use my own dish soaps and they work wonderfully. That's how I know that I'm proud to sell them. And here I am just pouring them in this beautiful mold. I was going to make some flower shapes as well because the flowers were the ones that I needed. I still have quite a few of the moon ones and you can see those in my shop as well if you like a different shape besides the flowers. Frankincense and lavender smell so good together and it's just such a comforting, relaxing scent. And if you're like me and you just hate doing dishes, if it's like your least favorite chore, having a dish soap that smells really nice and really relaxing really does help in some small way. And again, like I've said before, you always want to put these individual kind of molds on a tray or an old cookie sheet or something so that it's easy to move them out of the way and easy to put them in a safe place until you're ready to unmold them. Those molds are just so floppy that if you just barely touch it, you'll have an overflow and all of your soap batter pour out. So it's just so much easier to have a tray. I made these early in the morning. And what's super nice is that by afternoon, like late afternoon, early evening, I was ready to unmold. That's how quickly the coconut oil soap set up. And I will link my previous dish soap video at the end of this so you can go to it if you're curious to see a lather test. I did a lather test on that first video so you could see how well they bubble and foam up and how easily they clean. Because coconut oil by itself is super cleaning and not very moisturizing, it just makes the most amazing dish soap. It rinses very clean. There's never any kind of greasy film to it. And that's why I said it's just wonderful to think about washing all of those things that you wash for kids. 
even now, my youngest, he um, has autism, so he he still can't really drink out of a big boy cup yet. He still has to use sippy cups. So I use my own dish soaps to wash all his cups and valves and all the little parts that go in them. So here I'm unmolding them. And they just super easy and fun to make. I felt like these would be the absolute most perfect gift to give any mom that you know that has all of those things to wash as well, or a new mother. It would make a nice gift for someone expecting a baby, a beautiful baby shower gift, so that they have a good, nice, natural soap to clean all of those things. So here I'm going to leave you with some pictures. Fresh dish soaps will be in the next shop update on the full moon on July 3rd. Shop links are listed down below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned next week for more soaps.